Last week, the Loki season to finale dropped and boy was it emotional, satisfying and thrilling. This is the best character development of any MCU character to date, and also one of the best seasons of an MCU show. Everything is stunning, outstanding, atmospheric and cinematic throughout the whole of this season. Did have slower and quicker episodes, but none of it felt like filler. None of it felt like it wasn't important or helping to develop the narrative. All of it was worth it. This show literally couldn't have ended in any other way. It is interesting how much Loki has been powered up now and basically making him the god of time. Which apparently is closer to his Norse mythology origins and it's also fantastic. As it would be the type of solution H go with, just to be back on a throne. Also, what they do with he who remains, aka Kang, in this season is also pretty interesting. He who remains does return, after Victor Timely's and Timely death or deaths in this show. This show makes it open-ended with what the future looks like for Kang and currently closes the door on his return. Considering the focus behind the scenes to have less Kang too, that's quite concerning. Kang has a lot of potential and he's just beginning in this season of Loki. And now they don't want to act on what has been teased, what has been set up, what the fans really want. I hope he can make a comeback in the future, as I'm up for that. Hoping Loki can return to the big screen in the future too. Also, with the episodes being 40 to 50 minutes, that helped. With the pacing of each episode, as none of them felt rushed or dragged out too much. I hope we get to see Miss Minutes and in Rensselaer again. But I have a feeling we won't. This was a solid way to connect things with season 1, while also wrapping up all the arcs that were set up in the previous season. This season was more focused on the story, rather than developing the characters. But via going back to the past, we get some backstories, anyway. The visual effects and CGI in this season was fantastic. Even better than last season. The mix of humor and serious moments was also better. I hope we get to see a couple of Loki variants in the future, now that Sylvie seems to be out the picture. We shall have to wait and see what the future holds for the MCU and Loki, but the future is looking conclusive at the moment. Though, it has been teased that a Thor 5 is in development, and Tom Hiddleston isn't quite done with playing Loki yet. This was just wrapping up 14 years of development for this character. I would be happy to see a third season of this show, but I'm just not sure where you can continue it from here. Leave your opinions about Loki season 2 and whether or not you enjoyed it, down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more reviews. Over the next few days, the Marvel's review will be uploaded, along with Dream Scenario, as I saw that one on Wednesday. Keep watching movies and shows.